Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and this is what's on my Android phone 2013. Now I did one of these in 2012, just one of these, and apparently you guys wanted to see a bit of an updated version of that, since it's been a while since I did that previous video. So this is a, a current snapshot of my uh, phone situation going on here. It happens to be Android still right now, uh, and there are a whole lot of things that are probably different about my phone situation than about yours. So I'll go ahead and detail those right now because there are a few disclaimers that I have to get out the way before we go into the tour. So the big disclaimer is I don't really have a daily driver. That is probably the most frequently used word in my inbox. Hey, what's your daily driver? Uh, and for most people, that's the, the one phone that you use every single day. I don't really have one. I have two phone lines because I do review phones. One is a Verizon line and one is a straight talk line with AT&T service. The Verizon line is the one that everyone knows and calls me by, so I guess that's the closest thing to a daily driver, but I sometimes just really prefer the phone that I'm using with AT&T. That said, right now I'm using a Galaxy S4 on Verizon, and my AT&T line is right now, it's usually in the HTC One, while I sometimes go to the Oppo Find 5. But when you talk about daily driver, it really just depends on the day. Sometimes I go on a road trip and I don't bring a charger with me and I just bring my Verizon Galaxy Note 2 because that's just what lasts the longest and I don't really have to worry about charging or battery or anything like that. So my phone depends on the situation, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of my Galaxy S4. So without any further ado, let's take a look. All right, so this is of course the phone that we're talking about here. It's the Verizon Black Galaxy S4. Of course, we have a gorgeous 1080p display here uh, for the demo, but uh, basically I'll try to include every single link for all the apps that I talk about by name right below the like button in the description. So I'll have Play Store links to everything that you wanna check out if you wanna check out these apps for yourself. Uh, so basically the setup we have going on here is the basic treatment that I give all the new phones that I have to test or review or what have you. Uh, and this is, this is basically what I'll do with every single one of the phones. I'll install this basic suite of apps and give it this overall look. So without any further ado, this is of course Android 4.2 on the Galaxy S4. So we have our beautiful lock screen and this is Dash Clock, which is the widget here. And of course we have Google Now to the left. We can have as many pages as we want. Uh, and I have the Tasks extension, I have Eye in the Sky, and Sliding Messaging Pro. Those are the extensions I have for Dash Clock. So we'll go ahead and jump right in here, and you can see this wallpaper. I've gotten a lot of questions about this wallpaper. This wallpaper comes from the Stark Icon Pack. So if you download and install the Stark Icon Pack from the Google Play Store, and you select a wallpaper, you'll have the ability to select this one from the Stark Icon Pack. So this is pretty sweet. Uh, you should also follow me on Twitter, by the way. That link will be on top of the description. Anyway, this is Action Launcher Pro, and this is why I have all my apps to the side of the uh, launcher here, sort of going along with the Android design language of being able to swipe in from the side. This is now in my launcher as well. So this is Action Launcher Pro. And again, I have a full screen dash clock widget for all my information here. And of course I can change any of the settings here if I ever want to do that. And I have two pages. So one is my dash clock full screen widget. And right beside that is my most frequently used apps. Those are the frequently used apps. So I have Google Keep, Google Play Music, Eye in the Sky, Feedly, and Google Plus. Eye in the Sky is the weather app. It's a pretty great app, and it's also a beautiful day outside. Feedly, since uh, Google Reader is dying pretty soon, we have uh, Feedly to keep track of all that's happening in the world. Google Plus, you should totally plus one this if you're following me here. Google Plus is pretty much the greatest thing to come out of Google. Anyway, YouTube, uh, the new YouTube app came out today, which allows you to swipe in from the side from anywhere in the app. Just a neat little thing. Uh, Google Maps, Instagram, Gallery JB Plus, which is where I have all my pictures, obviously. I don't use the stock gallery. It tends to be pretty terrible uh, in the Galaxy S4 and S3. And also Wolfram Alpha, a very underrated app. Of course, you gotta know how many vitamins are in your bacon, but uh, yeah, this is the uh, most frequently used app section. Down at the bottom, I have Google Now, Google Tasks, Falcon, which is the Twitter app of choice for me. Of course, if you wanna follow me there, like I said, the link is below. Sliding messaging, I don't wanna show you guys that. And Google Calendar, which is, uh, of course, Google Calendar. So of course, I swipe into the side, and I'll go ahead and show you the list of all the apps I have here. You can always bring in widgets if you want from this particular list, but I have a couple of games, not really all that many. Camera JB Plus is basically the stock camera wid or camera app from Android 4.2 Jellybean, so that's nice to have. Um, 
Amazon, Chrome, Clock JB Plus is the stock clock app, of course. So again, I'm getting a lot of things from Jelly Bean here. Contacts and Dialer are uh, some third-party apps I have to replace the very ugly Samsung ones. Dirt Road Trucker 3D has been an addiction of mine recently. Google Drive, Dropbox, eBay, Eye in the Sky, Facebook, Falcon, blah, 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 blah. Went over A's already. Halo is for hailing taxis in New York City, which is neat. Hangouts, of course. Hollow Calc. It's just a neat looking calculator. It looks a thousand billion times better than Samsung's calculator, so I'll, I'll basically use this one every time I need to do something in the calculator. Google Keep, of course, Instagram. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, my name on every social network is MKBHD, so can't miss that. Uh, Maps, Facebook Messenger, so of course we got our chat heads going on there. Mighty Text is what allows me to sync and send texts from my computer, so that's pretty useful too. And then a whole bunch of other things. Package Buddy lets me uh, track any package. I get a lot of packages and I also send a lot, so that's definitely helpful for maintaining that sort of information. A whole bunch of play things. Pocket, very useful. Reddit News is my Reddit app of choice. SkyDroid for golfing, Snapseed for photo editing, SoundCloud for music listening. SpeedView is a, a way to see your, basically a speedometer via GPS. I was in a train one day, I wanted to know how fast I was going, so I just opened the app and it gave me uh, my exact speed in miles per hour. So that was pretty useful and I had a pretty accurate real-time reading of that. So that was cool. And that's almost it. We're getting to the end here. Spotify, the Stark icon pack, of course, Tasks, Tetris, the Weather Channel, Translate, Vine. I, I just signed up for Vine. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but <laughs> somehow I have a thousand followers there, so maybe I'll have to do some Vines. Uh, and then uh, Wolfram Alpha and YouTube, and that's basically it. So there is my current Galaxy S4 setup. If you guys were wondering, uh, all of these links, like I said, I'll try to include in the description below. This is, in fact, a Play Store link, by the way, and Action Launcher also happens to have a quick little search. So if I wanna search for, say, Google Plus, or I don't have Google Plus by PL, but the Play Store or anything, it'll be able to open an app just for uh, that little quick search box. So that's your useful button of the day. Uh, either way, notification bar. Of course, this uh, annoying Wi-Fi notification from all the Verizon phones, but also this empty in 14 hours. This is from Battery Widget Reborn. So that's telling me how much battery life I have left in percent, and then tells me exactly how much time left. And then, of course, I got a little torch here to show, I don't know, I light up my... Whatever. Whenever I need to get into a place that's dark and I don't have a flashlight. So there you go. That's the Android setup of MKBHD for 2013. So there you go. That has been what's on my Android phone 2013. Again, it's been Android for the past two times that I've done this video. If you have a way to personalize a Windows phone or an iPhone or a Blackberry, surprise me. You leave it as a video response. Uh, usually you can tell from a mile away when someone's using an iPhone, and usually you can tell from pretty far away when it's a Windows phone or a Blackberry, but if you have no idea what's going on with someone's phone, chances are it's an Android phone. So go ahead and leave your video responses below if you wanna leave a tour of your setup, and I'll be checking it out, giving some ideas, getting some ideas, and I'll definitely leave some comments on those. Either way, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.